Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader here answering your questions. A lot of people ask me, how do you short sell a stock? Um, short selling is basically how I made my second million, not my first million. Um, I made my first million going long, meaning I was betting on higher prices. I was buying penny stocks that broke out. Um, short selling, I had to adapt to back in 2000. Uh, one, 2002, when the stock market was tanking and there were no more breakouts to buy. Short selling means you're actually betting on lower stock prices, you're taking a negative position. Um, so if you're betting against a stock at let's say $6 a share and it goes down and you're short and it goes down to $2 a share, you profit those $4 a share. Six minus two equals four. Even though the price is dropping, if let's say you have a negative 1,000 shares, so you have shorted 1,000 shares, negative 1,000 shares times negative $4 a share, negative times a negative is positive, you gotta love math, positive $4,000 profit. So I know it's confusing to say, hey, how do you take a negative position? You need to have your broker find you shares to short. This is where it gets a little complicated. Buying is a lot easier. You can buy any stock you want. Almost any broker is fine, except Robinhood, which has terrible executions. Um, I prefer E-Trade and Interactive Brokers, not just because of their you know, decency or because they're big brokers, which are pretty safe, um, they also are pretty good for short selling. So you have to find with your broker the available shares to short of a company in order to take that negative position. So you have to borrow the shares ahead of time or put in the order and sometimes they can just short it right away. Um, sometimes if you're shorting like one of these penny stock scams that I like betting against, everybody wants to short it. Everybody knows that it's a scam. So there are sometimes no shares to short. I have a whole music video uh, spoof called No Borrow, No Cry where I've seen so many scams collapse and I couldn't find uh, stocks to short. I couldn't find shares and that's terrible when you know a stock is going down, you want to profit off of it, but there's no shares to short. You got to get used to it. That's part of shorting, um, especially when you're shorting you know, the most desirable stocks that are probably just going to crash and burn. Um, but E-Trade Interactive Brokers are pretty good. Uh, interactive Brokers is better at finding shares of uh, stocks under $2 a share. E-Trade is better for shorting stocks between $2 and $5 a share. Um, if you're shorting bigger companies, I would say be careful. Uh, all of Wall Street is basically geared towards getting stock prices up. You know, Brokers want more commissions. Uh, company insiders want their stocks as high as possible, so they're going to put out, uh, you know, hypey press releases. Analysts are going to give inflated price targets. Everyone's going to say everything's going well, and they, it might just not. Uh, you know, Bear Stearns is a famous example where the day before they went bankrupt, I think it was the CEO or CFO was on CNBC saying everything's fine, everything's fine, trying to calm the market down. Next day, bankrupt. Um, no management figure is ever going to tell you that the company is going to go out of business or the company is hurting because that would endanger their own job, um, you know, even, even if it's the truth. So shorting is a very dangerous game. Um, you have to be very careful because the stock can just keep going higher, even if it's an outright scam. Uh, the company can just putting out press release after press release, pushing their stock higher. That's called a short squeeze. When so many people are betting on the stock going lower, guess what? If it goes higher, you lose money as a short seller because you're betting on one direction, it's going the other direction. No different than if you're buying a stock and you want it to go higher and it goes lower, you lose money. The difference with short selling is that you can lose infinite amounts of money. Um, you know, if you buy a stock at let's say $5 a share and it goes to zero, you lose your entire investment. You lost $5 a share, nothing, nothing is left. But if you are short selling a stock at $5 a share and it goes to $20 a share, you haven't just lost those $5 a share, you've lost $15 a share three times what you put in initially. So even though you're like, how is this possible? I just only put in, let's say you had 1,000 shares at $5 a share, you put in $5,000, you could be down 15,000, okay? I understand that sounds crazy, but that is what's possible. When you're betting against companies, they can just go up and up and up. What if a stock at $5 a share goes up to 100? This has happened, DRYS happened just a few months ago. It was a terrible, terrible company. It was only lasting for a few days that the big spike happened, but the stock went from five to 100. So if you are betting against it at five and it goes to 100, you and you have 1,000 shares, negative position, you are down $95,000 and you only put in 5,000. So you might say, oh shit, I don't have $95,000. So you wanna to try to close your account. The bank will come after you. The credit cards, the credit bureaus will come after you. You will owe that $90,000. You can try to claim bankruptcy if you want, but that's the risk with short selling. So be very, very careful. 
Um, even if I'm shorting a scam, I follow rule number one, cut losses quickly. I don't let myself lose all my money. I don't let myself lose 90 times my money. I don't let myself even lose 10% of my money. I trade like a cash traded choir boy. That's why in some of my videos, you'll hear me talk like this because my balls got chopped off and that's the best way to short sell. That's how you trade scared. I have no balls so I have to trade scared. That's how you have to think. People in this room are laughing because they're like, what the fuck is going on? But that's how you have to be to protect yourself. Remember that 90% of traders lose money. And no matter how sure you are that a company is a scam, and even if eventually it goes to zero, it can go up indefinitely. Enron is a good example. Terrible company, eventually went bankrupt, but it was the best stock in the world for several years before its bankruptcy. So. Never underestimate hype. Never underestimate um, the cheerleading that goes on Wall Street. Hey, Tim Sykes, millionaire mentor and trader. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that they help you. I wanna share everything that I've learned over the years. You can check out more videos right over there. And also click subscribe so that you can watch all of these videos, get that knowledge, and become my next millionaire student.